<laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to the first ever episode of Jurassic World Alive. Now this is actually out in the um, Australian App Store, which is how I'm gonna how I'm gonna be playing it in today's episode. I don't even know how this is gonna go. I really wanted the first episode to be like outside and recording. However, of course I'm still in America. I don't have my iPhone with me. And I don't have data on this thing, so I, I might just take like a whole iPad around, like, ooh, here we go. <laughs> so anyway, <coughs> and I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna launch it. So this is the first time ever I'm gonna be playing this game, Jurassic World Alive. Is it everything we hoped? And is it gonna play while it's connected? Let's see. I hope not. Okay, Google legal, the uh, proceed. Remember to be alert at all times while playing Jurassic World Alive. Oh, that brings back memories. Playing Pokemon Go, <laughs> the Carados. Please, oh, 100, oh, 130, launching drone. So yeah, guys, build, ooh, build with Google Maps. I know, I don't know. So this game, it's basically gonna be Pokemon Go, but with dinosaurs. And even the footage that I showed in my last video, it looked like the three starters, like Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle, except for it was like Raptor, Enosaurus, or Majungasaurus. So I'm not too sure how it's gonna be with like the, um, like capturing, like taking DNA from the dinosaur when it's a like, top-down shooter. Whether I'll, I'll have to like move the iPad <laughs> or not, I'm not too sure. Hopefully it's just like I can use the touch to in, like, cause I can't imagine people walking around going, <laughs> There's one thing Pokemon uh, Go had was it just you held it there if you did want to see the, the uh, Pokemon and just flick to uh, do the Pokeball. So it'd be interesting to see how this one works. Aha, there we go. Five minutes later, I got it working. So, oh, this is interesting. Claire. This dinosaur project group needs your help to save Jurassic World's dinosaurs. Don't know why I'm saying in that voice. Today I am. <laughs> Tap the dinosaur to get closer with your drone. Okay, so we have Enosaurus here. <gasps> New creature discovered. We're gonna click back. And we're gonna discover the Utah Raptor. Is it, well, it's not a Utah, it's a Velociraptor. New creature discovered, okay. So which one should we go for? We got Majungasaurus, Enosaurus. Can we, can we move? No, we can't. Or Raptor. I kind of want Majungasaurus, but at the same time, we, we've already seen Majungasaurus, so let's go with Velociraptor. How could you go wrong? So let's launch. So this will be interesting, whether it's like you, I actually move the iPad or if I just like move the camera with my touch controls. Okay. Oh, oh God. All right. Um. Ooh, all right. Oh, so you click and hold and then BAM! You let go, okay. So it seems like with this first one, oh God, he's going through all the buildings. <laughs> this first one, um, you have unlimited dots. So until you've got like as much DNA as needed, you can just keep going because it was unlimited in the top left. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of like stoppers are in the way to stop you from progressing. Because all app games have like Candy Crush has lives, Jurassic World the game, you know, it just takes time. Uh, for things to regenerate, like dinosaurs and stuff. Great job! Tap on the collection button to see your dinosaur roster. Okay. <laughs> so there it is. Tap the dinosaur card to meet your dino. <gasps> I'm ready, Claire. I'm ready. <laughs> Welcome to the lab. Tap create to finish collecting your dinosaur. Create. We're going to create life. Oh yeah, there we go. What kind of raptor? Oh, look, it's got health, it's got damage, it's got speed and defense. Ooh, so the, I'm guessing these will all come to play when it comes to um, like battling other dinosaurs. So we'll have to continue. Uh, also guys, don't forget to leave a like if you want to see this properly. Like what I kind of want to do is um, is like do Pokemon Go style. So we'll walk around, I'll have Whitney follow me. <laughs> we can sort of have fun with this. Uh, Cause this looks awesome. Well done. Return to the map and start exploring. When I get back to England. Okay, just saying. <laughs> so let's go back. Map unlocked. Welcome to the dinosaur protection group. Use the radar to collect dinosaurs and supply drops. So I don't even know like where I am at the moment. There's a supply drop like two seconds away, which we can't get to at the moment. So prize one is that swipe to open. So it is like a pokey stop, so you swipe it. But alas, we just can't. Ooh, ooh. Oh, what is that? What is that thing? Is that Allosaurus? Oh, it's Gorgosaurus. Can we launch? Ooh, I kind of want that. Let's launch. <gasps> we can. So this is the drone version. I don't know what happens if you get so close, but this is what I mean. If you, if you, if you're, if you are restricted, so we've got 80, 80 bullets that we can fire off. Uh, bam. So it's kind of cool. Like it's, 
It's interesting because I was re I was kind of oh god really I've only got what how many seconds do I have? <laughs> you got like no seconds to get that. So my battery is depleted. So that's what it is. It's not the the the, the device battery. It's the drone battery. Ah, gotcha. So let's go collect. So these are things that we can also spend our real money on. So we'll collect this. We'll do the free one for now. And anyway. we've got two of these because I think we got a pre-register pre-registration one if you uh, went on the website. Uh, so 20 extra uh, DNA samples, three batteries, so we can do that three times. Uh, some extra Raptor as well. Uh, find out where, whenever a free incubator is available to collect. Would you like to receive notifications for this application? Is that separate? Let's say, oh, so this is when you, you'll be like walking about, you'll get a notification saying, there's an incubator here. So we'll say later with that. Okay, uh, so, an extra, so it takes three, sorry, six hours to get another one. So this is of course, oh God, the vault of coins uh, and DNA. So what do we have here? <gasps> Watch the trailer. And then we got battles, which we need to collect four dinosaurs for. So we got, uh, is, yeah, what is this thing? I kind of want to know what that dinosaur is. It is a Monolophosaurus. Okay, so we need to move closer to that. Um, we got a lot, ooh, these Majungasauruses? So we can collect a Majungasaurus uh, if we want to. So we'll, you know what, we'll see if we can. We'll see if we can launch one. Uh, so this game again like Pokemon Go like where I am now. I'm stuck So we've only got like so you can see the battery in the top left uh, depleting. Oh god uh, Come on uh, We need as much DNA as possible Come on one more Bam! Oh wait, we got three for that. 39. Oh, is that enough? Or is it 50? I think it might be 50 we need <gasps> Getting close almost got Majungasaurus uh, Yeah like <laughs> I say, it keeps on showing me that. So it says we can evolve this, I think, for five. Uh, not enough DNA. Oh, so the first one's free. <gasps> Possible hybrids. Indominus Rex. Are we going to see Indominus Rex already? <gasps> there it is. So we need um, probably T-Rex, if, if it's anything to go by. But that is Indominus Rex. Oh, that's cool. Indominus Rex is one of InGen's most dangerous creations. It stands 50 feet tall, has bulletproof scales, cloaking abilities, and the highest intellect of or of any dinosaurs ever observed. Ooh, and that costs 200 coins. So, huh. I kind of want something just to appear next to me, but there's nothing really there. <laughs> so what is this? So this is actually, this that dinosaur is too far away. So this is definitely something you're gonna need on a mobile device, uh, not something like iPad, unless you have data on iPads. I really don't know how that works. Um, so what else have we seen? So we see a Jungasaurus, uh, is a Gorgosaurus, uh, Enosaurus, Monolophosaurus. How many dinosaurs are there? Right. Okay. Let's have a look. So tap four dinosaurs to unlock battle. So we sorry, collect four dinosaurs. So we haven't got that. Uh, oh, there I am. Max common DNA per dot is eleven. My team is only consists of a Velociraptor. Fantastic. No messages. Um, is, there, is there any like anything we can see? I kind of want to see what we can get with an epic or a rare, but at the same time, like how much? A thou epic is what thousand uh, bucks, which is about fourteen dollars. And I'm not. Ooh, ooh! Hey, move there for a second. <laughs> I don't even like. Oh, is this close? I want to get that. Can I use my drone? I can't. So what are the prizes? Five DNA dots, ten DNA dots, thirty coin. Um, so we need to get closer. In order. I was hoping, I was kind of hoping that there would be a supply drop next to me, but there's not. There was a dinosaur, but it must be once you tag a dinosaur um, and it, you complete the DNA or whatever, your time runs out, you get the max DNA you can from it, it disappears. It doesn't stay there. So that's why you need to keep on moving. And apparently supply drops also take 15 minutes to recharge. So if, even if you are right next to one, um, it's gonna take 15 minutes. You can't just go up and down, up and down, unless it takes 15 minutes to do so. Uh, an interesting thing is um, whether these like supply drops or pokies, poke stops are gonna be the same. So if you go somewhere where there's loads of poke stops, they'll just be switched for supply drops. That'll be interesting. Um, but yeah, I think that is about all I can do. It's a shame I'm like so close <laughs> to that thing, like right there. Um, but yeah, it looks like for Indominus Rex, it's definitely a hybrid. Um, and that is all we are gonna be able to do. I, like there's nothing else, like it said I could send drones off. Now, if they're in this, like a certain vicinity, 
than like a certain distance, I will be able to do that. Other than that, um, I was kind of hoping there would be some sort of way to send a drone off in the distance and like be able to do it that way. But it doesn't look like that's the case. Unless I need to wait for my batteries to recharge? Um, let's have a look. Battery reload. What does that do? Are you sure you want to buy this item? 10 bucks, you know what? Why not? Let's see what that does. Battery recharge. Am I now able to go off into the distance and do that? No. Oh, there it is. So it looks like... Ah, so it's not three... You don't buy three batteries. You buy like a portion. So... You've got to wait. Huh. That's interesting. So you can't collect a dinosaur. Yeah, look at that. That So that guy... Hold on. That Majungasaurus had no battery. And this one had a little bit of battery. Oh. I get it. So unless my... Depending on how far away the dinosaur is. My battery needs... Like, if it's really far away. You need loads of battery power to go and get the dinosaur. However, if it, it's really close, it takes no battery. Yeah, that's interesting. Okay. Well, guys, yep. Yeah, I, I mean, I thought this was going to be short, and it looks like it is going to be short. <laughs> but we did see Indominus Rex, sort of. And if you enjoy this video, I mean, when I get back, I'm going to try and do, like, a proper one where we can walk around and just see what the kind of dinosaurs we can find. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Uh,